The IPO we're going to talk about today is Big Tin Can Holdings, a company seeking to raise $12 million uh, to list on the ASX on the 22nd of March in a fully underwritten IPO. Uh, the market cap um, of Big Tin Can will be around $46 million, and it is a software as a service company also uh, referred to as SaaS, focused on enterprise mobility. Uh, Big Tin Can has a one product platform uh, which is focused on uh, facilitating sales and a general service workflows for businesses, uh, thus increasing client engagement. Um, the company has 100,000 users and 300 paying customers at the date of the prospectus. As we're looking at the catalyst for this IPO, first of all, we want to understand the industry. Uh, the SaaS or software as a service industry is a high growth sector uh, where companies traditionally grow uh, between 30 and 40 percent. Um, that's a figure that Big Tin Can has achieved in the past and also projects to uh, grow revenue by over 35% uh, for the year. Uh, the company has established channel partnerships with AT&T, Optus and also Apple. Uh, Apple and Optus are most more recent and are not as mature yet as AT&T, uh, but replicating that third-party channel model with these two companies is a major catalyst. Uh, the company has traditionally a high degree of recurring revenue, uh, over 19%. 90% um, is recurring um, and contingent on further growth, the company can reach a cash flow break even position within the next 12 to 24 months, uh, which is a major catalyst for this IPO. We believe there is a lot of upside, but IPO investors obviously also need to keep in mind the possible hurdles for this company. Um, as a loss-making business to date, uh, reliance on external capital is one hurdle. Um, user growth may potentially slow down, which could impact financial performance and the company's ability to reach a cash flow break even position. And on the other hand, competition. Uh, entry barriers are quite low to the industry. It doesn't require a lot of capital um, and there is no um, complicated process to bring a product to the market. So there may be an increase in competition um, and those are th the three main hurdles for this IPO. Overall, we believe it's a very interesting IPO in the SaaS space. Um, on the one hand, you have the recurring revenue, you have the opportunity to invest in a possible cash flow break even business, um, possibly uh, profitable in, in one or two years, um, with existing channel partnerships with uh, big names in the industry such as Optus, Apple, AT&T. Um, on the other hand, you have possibly the risk of uh, user growth slowing down um, and an increase in competition, but we believe that overall is a very attractive package that offers speculative exposure to the North American market uh, to demand for enterprise mobility. The company has invested over 20 million to date in the product and these investments are largely completed. So now the funds can be directed towards increasing sales capabilities, um, firstly in North America and later on possibly at any point in the world. Uh, the, the product is a very simple uh, one product platform uh, which is very easy to market to both clients and investors and that'll be an attractive quality going forward. Mm -hmm.